like a United Nations flavor going on with this team this year. Yeah, I know. Don told me you guys were kind of the go-to guys for local information. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> like, everyone, like, I mean, we've been around. We know a lot of things about the state and, like, uh, just different things, like, you know, if you want to know something, just, like, ask us. Uh, but, yeah, I mean, yeah, I agree with that. Where yeah. to eat. Where to yeah. eat, like, well, it's different, it's different stuff to do. Sure. Like, we just weird stuff. We'll, we'll know about it. You're almost, uh, you could be considered a season veteran now, getting ready to start your junior yeah. year. Yeah, yeah, I would say so. Uh, how much do the new guys kind of ask questions, or do you try to give a little guidance or anything, a little leadership? Yeah, like, like the, I'd say the past couple of days, uh, like especially like with two new walk-ons, Dylan and Johnny, uh, been uh, been helping them out. Like they're like, you know, how like when can we lift, like and stuff. They like want to get in the gym a lot. So like I've been telling them like, you know, how it's gonna work out, and you know, if they ever like need anything, just like you know, let me know. And then uh, they don't like they're still missing on like some of like the like the numbers of people like that'll get them in different things. So like they can just you know they'll hit me up or whatever, and I'll help them out. But yeah, so Is I that a role you're comfortable with. I don't mind. I mean, I I had people do it for me, so it's like I don't mind doing it for no one else. So yeah. Jumping back a little bit on that in-state deal, there. You came from Mount Washington. You came from Madison. He, he told me that that one of the places he loves to go is home because they don't talk to him about basketball. That's his refuge. Do you have a place like that? Uh, or do you not care? really. No. I like, mean, like are it's you the Jared Polson, see, rock star guy. In, in, Oh, by all means, I don't like go out of my way to like talk about Kentucky because it's like I mean, it, but it, like if I get approached about it, it's like you know the the people that support UK and who are around the university a lot, they they do so much like and especially from the fans is more what I'm really talking about. I have no problem talking about signing whatever like it doesn't bother me. So uh, and that's just because of their loyalty and how well they treat us. So I have no problem doing any of that. So it's not a big deal to go back. No, but I mean, but like by all means, I'm not gonna be like, hey, I'm Derek Willis, come talk to me. So, but no, I mean, if they got, if they know who I am and they want to talk, then by all means, I'm, I'm more, I'm approachable. So I don't, it doesn't bother me. What you work on during the summer? Uh, a lot of like mental aspects of the game. Honestly, like the past two years, uh, I had a lot of like built up sh like stress, I guess. So getting that off my chest and kind of talking to those people I need to talk to. Uh, kind of is helping me out now, and I feel like I'm more motivated and focused. Like, just kind of seeing what's really important to me, and it's going to be this. So, is that part of the process of getting comfortable on the floor? Uh, yeah, I would say it factors in really heavily. I mean, this game's more mental than anything, and just like any anything you're doing. And uh, once like like that's fine, then it's just you know up to the top from there. You talked about the mental part. One of the one of the tough mental parts, I would think, is keeping yourself ready at any second to yes. be called upon. Yes, I agree with that. that. Is there a process that you go through? Is there a way that you cope with that and keep yourself ready? Uh, yeah. It's uh, I mean, it's, that's what my dad says too. Uh, you just be patient. You know, your time's coming. And it's going to happen, and that's what I've been doing. But I mean, it's just. It's just very hard because it's one of the things where like it's all work, no reward. Some at some times, so you know you're putting in, uh, you're putting in this work, and you know you're not really seeing the results. But uh, once that happens, then you know it's going to be cool. How, how tough is the patience part? Uh, you, you just uh, touched on well, that. well, for me, it's like it's it's extremely hard because I'm a very like I don't know. I'm not. I guess I'm not really patient at all, and. <laughs> Uh, uh, it's just, it's very hard for me. So like, like wanting to just keep waiting and waiting, it, it sucks. But it's just something you got to do. I mean, I'm not gonna go anywhere else and try and do it. Like, I mean, this is the best place to be. So, well, yeah, just waiting on it. Well, let, let's address that. You love the University of Kentucky. I mean, yeah, it's been this great is to where me. You be. Yeah, this is where I want to be. You got the best fans, best. Best place to be, best resources. Honestly, I mean, it's just it's great here. So, I love this place. How often do you get to visit? Uh, in the summer, I'd go down on the weekends. If I had a free weekend, I'd go say hi to my friends and family. Uh, my daughter started college. She came home every weekend. Yeah, exactly. That's about how it goes. Uh, it's just like it's that transition going. You know, you're you're uh, you know, stay at home. Uh, I mean, I've always kind of like took care of myself, so like it wasn't really that wasn't really a problem for me. It was just like 
kind of like breaking away from my, you know, I guess my family a little bit. And, and I, now it's like all I want to do is just like stay on here and just rip and run and all that. So. So you like the camera stuff? Like yeah, camera stuff's fun. That's cool. Yeah. Cal has always been big on telling his guys, accept your role, subjugate yourself to get to the team. The team comes first. Right. Do, do all the guys buy into that pretty easy? It seemed like last year everybody bought it. Yeah, I mean, well, it's like, yeah, you you kind of have to, but, I mean, well, we have always, we've always had good guys here. Like, it's not like we've had any arrogant people or nothing. Like, everyone's been like, okay, we're going to get on the same page and, like, we're going to do this thing. We all have to do it together. So, and that's what makes it buy-in. And then, like, the people that have been here before us, like, they just show, like, if you just, you know, just do it together, then, Look where you're gonna be. Like, I mean, Cal said, and all his media stuff. Like, Anthony Davis took fourth, fourth, fourth or fifth most shots on the 2012 team. Uh, now he's making probably over 100, what, 150 mil or something. Some crazy. He's gonna be. He's basically he's gonna be the best player on the planet, and he didn't take any shots on the team. So, uh, I mean, that's. I mean, it's just being real too. Like, it just shows you. Like, you don't. It's not about you. It's about. It's about the team and where you want to go. Any goals you set for yourself for this season? Uh, I just want to win games. I don't really care how we do it. If I don't play, whatever. If I have to play all the time, it's uh, it doesn't matter to me. I want to win a championship, national championship, and uh, that'd be cool with me. That's all I want.